Hi guys. この風だ。You are lucky だ。Hi guys, I'm lucky here. So today I'll be doing a Milchon deck profile. So I guess now with the latest support, Milchon is actually a lot stronger now. So I'll be doing a deck profile on it. So these are four runners, and the effects are not explained. <coughs> Next is the OG Milchon. So Milchon ability is the same as last time, still the same. Actually, there's no other uh, changes. It's just that、uh, some of the Grade Two and Grade One they actually added to make the deck a lot stronger. So his effect,、uh, OG Milchon, is、uh, egg ability count、uh, once per turn. You are able to counter plus one, front row plus three k. Second ability is、uh, once per turn during the third or fourth wave.、Uh, if your attack hits, you are able to discard two cards and stand this,、uh, stand him again. Next will be Glory Milchong. So Glory Milchong, right? Ability, uh, egg, count, uh, once per turn, counter plus one, uh, front row plus uh, ten k, and then if you have a Milchong in your soul, right? Uh, no, wait, yeah, you get a guard restriction first. If you have Milchong, then plus ten k, yeah. So uh, counter plus one, uh, all your cards in the front row get uh, your opponent can only get one card. You are unable to intercept. If you have a Milchong in the soul, then plus ten k. Yeah. So you can counter Ama. Yeah. But Ama must intercept. Yeah, so against deck like Amal, they won't be able to intercept. So it's actually very very annoying. Yeah, and this is usually a very good finisher. So、uh, starting, you would like to go with the OG、uh, Milchong first. Then you go with Glory Milchong as your finisher. Next, I'm just playing one copy of this、uh, Leviathan Dragon. So its effect is、uh, he's unable to attack、uh, until the fourth wave. So fourth or more wave, then he's able to attack. And then when he does attack, it does 20k power. So it's a 32k attacker. Yeah, so. Next, ah,、uh, is this great too? So ability once per turn, act. You are able to counter blast one. Discard one Milchong from your hand. Choose ah、uh, your Milchong Vanguard. Ah,、uh, plus 10k one drive. So this is good for ah、uh, any of the Milchong. Ideally, you will go for the OG Milchong. Ah,、uh, if you are gonna withstand it. So with his effect, you are able to add drive, and you can withstand your Vanguard, making him like a triple drive ah、uh, withstanding Vanguard. But、uh, obviously, if you like, you can also use for glory. Cause glory will be our finisher. So adding the extra drive means、uh, your chances of getting more trigger、uh, is higher. So just three of him is actually good enough. Next will be three of this new、uh, card from the later set: ability、uh, rear guard and guardian circle. If your vanga is mil strong, plus five k power and five k guard. So it's a ten k、uh, guard and a fourteen k attacker. And then、uh, second ability,、uh, Vanguard or Regular ability.、Uh, when it attacks, you are able to counter blast one, so that if your attack doesn't hit, it's considered as hit. So combined with、uh, what I just said for the Mil Shang, right? So、uh, even if your opponent guard it, right? You use her ability counter blast one. Your、uh, attack is considered as hit. You are still able to discard two, stand back your Mil Shang again. So combined with the Great Two, where you add a drive, so it can be attacking as triple drive. After you discard two cards, stand again, it's still attacking for three drive again. So three copies is actually good enough. I feel no need to actually play more cards. Also, we are playing the great one that also have the same effect. Next, I am playing three copy of this、uh, new great two, Chipper、uh, R. So his effect is、uh, once per turn, whenever he stand、uh, by ability, you able to plus five k. And then、uh, next ability is when he attacks during the first wave, you able to so plus one, should we stand it? So what you like to do is just attack with him first, so plus one, should we stand? Stand by ability, he plus five k, so it's a fourteen k attacker.、Uh, Yeah, combined with your Glory Mil Shang, right? It's gonna be a very annoying. So Glory Mil Shang plus another 10k, so it's 24k attacker. 24k attacker, attack once, attack twice. Yeah. Next is this、uh, new great tool that they actually added in. This is a、uh, really rare free card. So just on place as Vanguard or Regular ability, you do a top seven card. Add any of the Mil Shang into your hand. Second ability is just if it's the fourth wave or more when this card attack plus 15k power. No need this card. They are free as fuck. Yeah, so free. How come Chrono Jack cannot have this support? <laughs> so next into the Great One. So this Great One is a、uh, Vanguard of Regal ability. Whenever this card attack hits, you're able to look at the top seven card of your deck and one、uh, Milchon into your hand. That's it. Next is、uh, this card that I just mentioned earlier, same as the Great Two.、Uh, it's also Great One. So on place on Vanguard,、uh, place on the field, right? So plus one.、Um, whenever it boosts our attacks, right? You are able to、uh, your hit. Your doesn't hit becomes、uh, considered as a hit, and then you can return one of your mil shong to the bottom of the deck and draw one card. So that means we total we play seven cards that actually have the doesn't hit as considered as hit effect. So you are able to actually consistently pull off with your OG、uh, mil shong effect. Next is a、uh, very tricky copy of this penguin. So the penguin effect is just add ability. You can rest it. Choose one of your cards in the front row plus five k, and then.、Um, Second ability is if fourth of more wave, right? You can choose to retire him and then counter charge one. 
So what you can do with uh, this is actually you can just combine with the grade 2 So with him and the penguin, this effect you can rest it plus 5k here And then with uh, Glory Mail Strong plus another 10k to the front He attacked first right, so just now I said it was uh, 14k, uh, 14, uh, 14, 24 So with the penguin now will be 29 so uh, against any of the decks, right, they require at least 20k to guard. So this will be attacking twice some more. So your usually your opponent can only guard one card, they won't have uh, that many copies of huge trigger in their hand, so they won't be able to guard. Another alternative if you really don't want to play the penguin, you're able to play this great one. So the great one is effect is uh when it's boost the vanguard, uh attack hits, you're able to solve blast one, discard one random card from uh not one random card, uh, any one card from your hand, search your deck for two uh different name mill shot added to your hand. So this is good uh, in getting uh, the both Mailstrong into your hand so you can ensure to write the OG Mailstrong first then followed by Mil uh, Glory Mailstrong. Must be different name. Yep. So uh, because this deck I'm actually more based on uh, any game with uh, Glory right. I'm actually playing 8 front, 4 draws, 4 heal. So um, like I said uh, my my playstyle is that I prefer to actually end game with Glory, so I actually play more fun, meaning that my Vanguard will attack first, and then if I get front trigger, my other rings are gonna be even more scary. Uh, but if you don't like, you can actually play more crits, so that uh, that will also mean that you are actually more uh, OG Mill Strong base. So that means you will try to actually uh, want to hit, uh, so that you know, cause your Vanguard will be able to add more drive and it's also able to restand, so meaning it's more pressurizing. So, but for me, I prefer uh, Glory Mill Strong because I feel that Glory Mill Strong is actually a much better finisher, so I actually prefer uh, Front Trigger, so I play 8th uh, Front instead. Yeah, so that'll be it for my deck profile. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys do, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye bye.